I'm Taha Kasut. I'm the Director of Division Informatics Solutions and Operations at the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. We have created a market for exchanging health-related data. The more people are able to collaborate and exchange data among one another, the more we're able to put our finger on the pulse of the nation's health. By enabling people to exchange this information, clinicians and public health practitioners are able to make more informed and timely decisions. The IT problem we're trying to solve is avoid purchasing of expensive hardware and software that are physically maintained here, and instead replace that with a pay-per-use hardware and network at a low cost. From a business perspective, we also needed a model that is distributed among us and our partners at the state and local levels. We want to ensure privacy and security over the information, compliance with federal and national standards on laws, annual uptime of at least 99.95%, and most importantly, ensure countermeasures against any potential data loss. For our needs, and those can be different from others, we chose the AWS Cloud because it allows us to use custom-built in addition to the AWS supported services. AWS was selected in February 2011 after a competitive and open process. We start development right away. We went into production nine months later on November 15, 2011 after receiving our accreditation and authorization to operate by our security office. Applications we currently have in AWS are uh, primarily concerned with tracking patient emergency room encounters, uh, in addition to uh, laboratory test orders and results, pharmacy prescription sales, and we are currently evaluating tracking countermeasures incidents, in addition to publishing subscribing to open data such as social media and the news, morbidity and mortality reports, and tracking emerging threats. Our model allows free exchange of information between healthcare sector and public health. We have observed hockey stick effect with low adopters early on, but that has spiked. Several federal programs, more than 30 health jurisdictions around the US, over 2,000 facilities, healthcare facilities, in addition to national laboratories and pharmacies are currently utilizing the environment we have set up. We're currently using three AWS services. The first is the Amazon EC2, primarily for web hosting, processing or receiving information, in EC2, we also use MapReduce and MongoDB to allow users seamless interaction with the data to do complex tasks such as disease trends, geomapping of the disease clusters, in addition to disease detection algorithms. The second service we use is Amazon S3, primarily for archiving data. And lastly, we use the Amazon SES service, that's primarily to allow users for subscribing to push alerts. Adoption of electronic health records by the healthcare community this will revolutionize the way we conduct public health surveillance that is timely, more accurate, complete, and most importantly, can sustain long term. When people are connected and are sharing data and insights, especially during times of crisis, it makes everyone's response effective and efficient and make better use of already limited resources. I believe others in the healthcare and public health sectors should consider uh, cloud computing part of their IT strategy. Savings realized through the move to the cloud have allowed us to create jobs at the state and local levels. The cloud have allowed us to build shared services and platform where we can focus on the work and away from outdated IT solutions.